hello everybody and welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl Bri. all right so there's not really much to update on but as promised i'm doing a new segment on my youtube channel where i am reviewing current books that i've read so the book that we're talking about today is called the mind fuck series So let's just give a special shout out to my friend Celeste because she recommends a lot of good books to me. And y'all, like, since this is the beginning, I'm just going to tell you kind of what kind of books that I do like to read. And then we'll get more into what I liked about that book, what my ratings was, and why I liked it so much. So I lately started reading this year. And mostly at the beginning of the year, I was doing a lot of Colleen Hoover books, and which is, you know, like romance. And then I got into one of her books called Verity that one is one of my top favorites out of colleen hoover's collection like that one it was like romance but with a twist of suspense thriller type not really thriller but it was suspensey i don't know how to explain it but that one definitely 10 out of 10 recommend because that was one of those books that it left me like is it this or could it be something else so anyways let's get into the mindfuck series The main characters in this book, let's just start there. And these aren't gonna be very long. I want these to be like quick videos that I tell you guys what I love so much about the books. This one was a five book series, but it was all a part of one major book. So I think in total it was like 700 or something pages. It's a very thick book, but each one of the individual books had me like, <gasps> series. It is by S.T. Abbey. I bought my copy on Amazon soft um, paperback and I will attach the link down below in the comment section. It was about $32, but definitely worth it for five books if you think about it. So I kind of just vaguely remember the first mini book was called The Risk and the last mini book was called Painting It All Red. So y'all, let's just get into the book. Let's just get into it. So the main character was a girl named Lena and then the guy main character was a guy named Logan. So Lena was this girl who was like from a small town um, and so she had ended up leaving her small town due to like corruption in the police system, due to crimes happening against her and her family and no justice being served. Essentially she left, remade herself, started doing like intense like training as far as fighting, as far as technology, just all mind, body, soul. Like she was a top notch trained professional at that point she was trained to kill okay so essentially this is about her getting revenge i don't want to spoil it but just know that there was events that happened in her hometown against her and her family where they were targeted and wrongfully accused and abused and taken advantage of due to the corrupt police system and no justice was served she literally was supposed to die like she should have died that night but she somehow ended up making it out she ended up finding this business partner they both were from the same town and they both had the same hate towards the corruption so they partnered up together and started doing all of this intense training like i said where they learned how to fight where they learned how to do she was mainly the killer and the her partner was more of like the behind the scenes technology guy where he was like doing all of like hacking into people's systems and adjusting different things and getting her fake identities and setting up transport all this stuff right so that's Lena and she was like a pretty short girl you know cute whatever whatever but simple then she randomly met this guy named Logan and you guys why was Logan a criminal like FBI agent he his job was literally to go and investigate serial killings and the murderers and hunting them down and putting them behind bars so this was just such a forbidden love right and so at the beginning it's just you're hearing like he's telling her about different cases that don't have anything to do with her specific killings um but then over time you get to where he is now over like he's the lead investigator on her serial murders okay so he's hunting for a murderer and he's literally sleeping with the murderer like it was just so crazy and then it got to a point where she was actually starting to catch real feelings for him you know obviously she didn't want to fall in love with the guy but it just so happened that over time he was the only person that kind of made her feel human like he was the only person that brought out that good side of her that made her not want to like go as far as like continuing to kill 
innocent people. She only wanted to kill people that were directly tied to the events that happened in her past. Y'all. So just imagine the closer and closer that he's getting to finding the killer, then that means the closer and the closer that her identity gets to being stolen. So it takes place primarily in Virginia, I believe, where it starts. And then they ended up going back to the small town. I really want to say in North Carolina, but don't quote me on the locations. But they ended up having to move the investigation from Virginia or Washington. I don't know. From the main headquarters to actually going inside of the small town to get a more closer eye on the people around and stuff it eventually ended up having to come out that she was the killer and so the suspense was building because at this point it's like are you gonna let him find out who you are and if it comes down to it was lena willing to kill logan to save herself like y'all I was having emotions. I didn't know what to do because I was like, oh my God, like I don't want him to find out because he was such a good guy. Like he was one of those people where he really wanted justice and he really wasn't willing to um, allow people to do corrupt things. Like he didn't think that the killer should be the judge and the jury. He didn't think that the killer should just be able to go and get revenge no matter what happened against him. They, he, he just felt like she should go the right way about it. At first, Logan thought the serial killer was a man just due to all of the killings and how obviously you would assume that a man has the strength to and the control to be able to pull off certain things like that. So you'll see the progression of his profiling having to change because at first they thought it was a guy who was doing it for this reason, reason. but then it switched to them knowing that like, no, maybe it could be a female. And the only reason it came out that it could have been a female was once they got into that hometown, y'all, something happened where Lena had to come and save his life. She was still under her mask, da 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 but she had to come and save his life so that the corrupt policeman didn't get him, okay? So after that, he was in a daze, but he was like, I swear it had to be a female. So then different people within the team, like it's just, and I'm not even touching the surface. I'm just giving y'all a brief synopsis. There was so much going on in the book, but eventually it came out that she was the killer, right? He thought he was gonna get her ass. He really tried to like lock her up in the house. Not that he was gonna turn her in immediately, but he just didn't know what to do. So he tried to lock her up in the house and wait for him to come back to get his thoughts together. And she ran away. Like she literally escaped and ran away. And at that point she was like, he didn't even give her the opportunity to explain like why she did what she did or how they got to that situation he just took his assumptions and just ran with it so she didn't like that so then it became like a battle to the finishes she just went crazy like she just started doing like more killings more faster um, more intense type of thing and in the end it was a big little plot twist to where I thought she was gonna die, okay? I thought she was gonna die. And spoiler alert, if you don't wanna know the ending, just turn off now. But spoiler alert, in the end, y'all, he left his job and ran away with her. Once he found out everything that happened, he wanted to go to his higher ups and seek justice because he, like I said, he was a good guy. So he wanted for them to actually do something about it, to clear everyone's names and to get justice for that family. And his directors and them were playing politics. They were like, no, we're not opening it up. We're not going back into that. Like, it's over. Let it go. He turned in his badge. I can't, I ain't going to spoil it too much because there's something else he did. He turned in his badge, went and did something that he felt was an act of like showing her like, this is it. Like, I'm choosing you. And he ran away. Like, he left his job and ran away to go be with her in a whole nother country. He had to get, like, a new identity. And then they ended up getting married. They didn't have any kids, but they did get married. And, y'all, the actual other twist, I'm just going to tell y'all this part. Why, as a part of their relationship? Because you know she was a killer. So you can't take somebody that's a killer and never let them kill again. So for every year on their anniversary, they go out on the boat and he finds like some corrupt i'm not gonna tell you how he finds them you gotta read to find out the little details but every year he gifts her a person to kill what kind of shit is that like it was just like it was just some different kind of love like i was like oh my god like he loves you that much he's gonna bring you a corrupt person that really needs or deserves to die but they can't let him go to the justice system so he's gonna bring that person to elena and let Lena kill them or torture them or whatever. 
y'all it really was a mind fuck like literally and i'm sorry for cursing i'm really sorry for cursing but y'all that book was just so good so i'm gonna give that book literally i really want to just say a 10 out of 10 it was a 10 out of 10 and hmm, i wanted to say maybe 9 out of 10 because uh, not that i predicted all of the twists in the end but i kind of thought actually no i didn't even think they were gonna get together honestly i was on the edge of my seat like please 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 like please find a way for them to get back together so i will rate that book a 10 out of 10 and because it was good substance it was a whole series and i'm finding out now that i do prefer series over um like one-off books because it kind of lets me get time to grow with the characters and kind of learn more about them and their history and stuff so you guys 10 out of 10 the mindfuck series by st abby and this is just my quick little telling you about the book and how i felt about it like i'll tell you too let's see who is my favorite characters in the book my favorite character i really like leonard leonard was one of the fbi agents and i really loved lena's character in general like she was just so intriguing to me like i really just enjoyed reading about you know all of her training and all of her having to like shut certain pieces of her off type of thing like she made me want to go do some martial arts i'm not even gonna play like i want to go do martial arts so i can be that skilled and like that discipline that's the word that discipline mentally to be able to control your emotions and control your actions like that so uh that was just one of the good books that i read lately the book that i'm currently reading right now is called 56 days so i'm gonna finish that book today i have about 60 pages left be on the lookout for my review about that because that is a true thriller and it's not necessarily like too deep into romance it's more of a thriller type book and it has me like hmm who killed who like it's one of those books you're really trying to figure out what even happened so stay on the lookout for that you guys let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this kind of story time book review series let me know also too what books are you guys currently reading if you have any recommendations and maybe we can start like a little book club maybe i can start letting y'all know what books i'm going to be reading next and we can kind of read them together if y'all are interested of course but if not you guys i'll definitely see y'all in the next video make sure to like comment and subscribe and thank you guys so much for all of your support <laughs> bye